What's going on everybody? Jeff Beck here with an extra special review today. Today I'm going to be actually looking at Dasani bottled water. So this is water that comes from a municipal source which is then purified with minerals added to it. So it's not the same as spring water which you also find in uh, bottled water. As you all know, water is important to every living thing on earth. It's important for our bodies, it's important for plant life, it's important in even making beer. It is especially important that all of this water remains clean and pure. Our main sources of water come from aquifers as well as springs. Aquifers are when water is trapped between rocks, sand, clay, and other particles in the earth, and springs happen when these flow to the surface. A lot of these aquifers are then tapped by cities or personal residents, and that's where people get their water from. A large problem with these groundwater sites is that they often can become polluted. They can become polluted by toxic heavy metals such as arsenic, which can come from glass and electronic production, chromium and cyanide, which can come from steel and pulp mills, lead, which can come from old household plumbing systems, and mercury, which come from landfill and uh, cropland runoff. Other sources of pollution could be from hydrofracking or from hazardous waste disposal wells, which are basically large wells drilled d directly into the earth which have a very thick lining. And Companies put a large amount of waste into these wells in order to dispose of it, and their hope is that the casings are thick enough so that it won't um, pollute the soil or the water source. In addition to these wells, there are Superfund sites across the country, um, and these are sites where toxic waste has been stored um, maybe a long time ago, maybe pretty recently, and they need to be taken care of, and they could have the potential to pollute a water source. There was even one here at NC State in the 90s which was found to contain toxic heavy metals, orga volatile organic compounds, pesticides, and even radioactive uh, waste. Um, while this one has been taken care of, there are many across the country that have not been taken care of yet. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this water. As you can see, it's perfectly clear and clean. It doesn't have much of a taste or an aroma, which is exactly how I like my water. I hope that you'll be able to help me and everyone else in the world by making sure that you dispose of electronics, batteries, and things of this nature properly so that we can keep all of our groundwater clean. And if you have any questions about how to dispose of things properly, most cities have a website or a phone number that you can call um, for information about how to properly dispose of things. Hope that you enjoyed my video and you maybe even learned something. Cheers.